Hey guys, Jeff from Smoking Tea Jets. A little bonus here. Um, you know, I've been talking about Dash and getting some of the products. I got uh, one of the um, Super Modifieds. It's black with a blue interior. And as you can see, I added a little bit of a front end to it. I think it came out real good. Uh, we're also going to add a light to it. Uh, I've demonstrated that before in a, 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 a previous video. And uh, we got a red one here. And what's nice about the red one, one of the biggest reasons why I got that red one is I really thought that Aurora missed the ball. They made the yellow, they made the blue, they made the orange. I think if they would have did some chromies or did some red or some other colors, they they, they, they would have again been, been a big hit. So uh, we're going to add a light to that one just for fun. And um, the last one here, that is um, a repro kit that I got from um, Dash that is just exceptional. The body doesn't look too good, but the kit itself, the chrome kit, is absolutely phenomenal. So what we'll do is we'll uh, go ahead and uh, I'll show you how to do put the extension on the front there and we'll also put a light in it and the red one we're going to put a light in it as well and I will see you in the next video guys. Alright hey in this next video we're going to go ahead and uh, to this rail that we got I'm going to show you how I attach the uh, front wheels there uh, that's an old auto world front end there and uh, we got the blue light now the length of the light there when I ordered it I, I, I got these lights off of eBay they were already cut to that length and I was hoping I can use them and for what we're going to do, and we're going to put this little engine light in the Super Modified um, it's going to be just the right length, we're going to have just enough so uh, here's what I'll do, uh, what I like to do is I always like to take the light bulb and um, you guys probably do the same thing but anytime I'm getting ready to do a job or uh, a project rather with a, with a, with a T-Jet that has a light in I always like to test it and as soon as I uh, see that the bulb's working real good yeah, then I go ahead and use it. The reason I do that, <laughs> the reason I do that is, um, yeah, I've had it. I've completed the piece all together, then um, I put the bulb on, and the bulb does I put the car on, and the bulb doesn't work. So um, now that I've tested it, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and take the body off, and I'll show you how the um, the front end, the, uh, the the rail, actually attaches, and how it actually comes through the um, the grill there. It's pretty neat. It, it, it works out just right. works out just right. Okay, I'm going to stop the video. See you in the next segment. Okay, we got the super modified uh, rail apart. And um, th the front bumper, the front bumper goes on top of the chassis. That's how you normally uh, uh, assemble the, uh, the, the super modifieds onto the T-Jet chassis. Now what we did is I, I've added the, the, the rail front end to it. Now, when I first did because I wanted to, I wanted to try you know both ways is I put the rail underneath the front bumper. It didn't seem to work well. It didn't allow the shoes to touch properly. Then what I did is I undid that and then I put the uh, rail in between these little uh, bars here in the front uh, bumper and then it's literally on top of this and then you screw it on. Now one thing you will note is the um, longer screw if you're going to add the rail to the bumper plus the chassis and then into the uh, the body with the guide pin, <clears throat> I had to get a um, one of the screws that usually um, they, they, they go into the Volkswagens a little bit longer, a little bit longer, and it seems like we all have some of those. So again, the, the, the rail goes on top of the bumper, bumper goes on, and then you can go ahead and screw the car. Don't put the rail underneath the bumper. It doesn't work, guys. This, uh, that, that tip alone is worth its weight in gold. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to attach the uh, light. Uh, it looks like we have some holes that are um, uh, already drilled for the um, flamethrower type of a chassis. So the, the, uh, the light will go, or the, the wires go right through those holes. Then the light itself will end up in this little area. We'll put the uh, rail back on, and we'll see if we can get this uh, black one lit up with a blue light. Should look pretty cool when we're done. All right, guys, let me go ahead and get that light on. All right, I just got the uh, bulb threaded in there. The uh, both the wires are coming out of the uh, holes here with the um, with the flamethrower, and uh, I turned the I turned the uh, T jet over, and I uh, discovered hey, it is a true flamethrower. Uh, chassis. It's got those little hooks right there and over there that allow us to put the uh, wires in. So um, I, I pried them up with the, my exacto knife just a second ago. What I'm going to do is stretch the wire, uh, put them in there, clamp it back down, and uh, we're going to give it a test. 
Okay, I got the wires right there. They're, they're both attached, and I'm getting ready to uh, test it, so I'm going to put it on the track, see if the uh, light goes on. Looks good here. I really like the way that the uh, we can just, you know, reuse the um, the, the flamethrower little clamps that they got on there. Not all the chassis have them, but when you do, uh, I love taking advantage of them like that. So I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, car on the track, and we will test it. All right, we got it. I have the um, chassis on the track. We're gonna see if the uh, ball works. Let me go ahead and get the uh, transformer. There we go. Let's give it a test. Oh, look at that thing! Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! That's awesome. It worked. Tested a few times. Liking that. Liking it a lot. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put it back on the um, the, the, the black um, super modified we got. We're gonna put the rail front end on and uh, assemble the whole thing and take it for a test run. Let's see what we got. All right, hey, we just got the uh, Super Modified done, got it on the test track, and I'm getting ready to turn the transformer on and uh, give it a shot. Um, here we go, and find the transformer. All right, guys, let's see if we got that blue engine light working. Okay, that's awesome. That's awesome. You got the blue interior. You got the blue light. And I'm sorry if, you, if you're going to be racing these. If you like, if you like the Super Modified. And you want to take it again a step further, guys? This is a real easy project, a real quick, uh, you know, way to do something like this, and it adds a little something extra to it. Okay, that's going to do it for right now. I hope you enjoyed the project. I'm going to race this bugger for a little bit and see how it does. I do like to make reference to this uh, when you're having a rail, anything extended. You, you see the yellow curves here that we got. A lot of times, as far as uh, the guardrails, um, the yellow curves help the cars. Um, as far as the tail end go around, but when you're and I'm going to do, I'm just going to push it here. When you, when you're using a rail, often before the guide pin gets there, the front tire will be hitting the guardrail and start climbing up on it. But with these little curves that um, help it slide out a little bit easier, I really like them when I'm racing some of the um, the stretch limos and the rails that I got. So just a little tidbit I want to add, uh, um, uh, you know, note there. So if you got them, use them. I think they're wonderful. All right, guys, see ya.